Hey guys, I'm Paige Pierce with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I wanna to talk to you about the three different types of broadheads. So the first one that we're gonna cover is called a fixed blade broadhead, and it's simply because the blades are fixed in place. There are many different shapes, styles, some have two blades, three blades, or even four blades, but they all are the same idea of stationary blades that stay in place throughout the entire shot. Now you can get fixed blades where the broadhead is one solid piece or one where you can actually replace the blades like the broadhead I have here so you don't have to resharpen the blades. I personally prefer the ones with replaceable blades because it's much quicker and easier to replace in the field. Now the next kind of broadhead that I want to talk about is called an expandable broadhead. Now as you can see this looks very minimalistic but what's very neat is they fly through the air, skinny and small, just like this, and when they impact the animal, they actually expand like that to give you a much bigger cutting diameter. Now, the benefit of using an expandable broadhead is that you can get one that is, again, very minimal. It will fly very well, just like a target tip, but it gives you a much bigger, wider cutting diameter, and that's obviously what you're looking for in a broadhead. Now, you can find expandables with two blades or three blades, and they even have pushback broadhead blades or fold back like you see here. Now, the only thing to consider if you're trying to decide between a fixed blade or an expandable broadhead is your draw length and your poundage. If you're someone with light poundage and short draw length, or you don't have a lot of energy, you would probably be better off sticking with a fixed blade because it's gonna make sure you have enough energy to fully penetrate on that animal. But for most men or people with heavy poundage and a longer draw length, an expandable is very often their choice because they get great arrow flight and again, bigger cutting diameter. Now the last one that I wanna cover is actually a hybrid broadhead. It has a fixed blade, but it also has an expandable component. Now this is an example of a pushback expandable broadhead. And so as you can see here, when the broadhead shoots as it hits the animal, the blades push open just like that. Now I really like this style broadhead because if you ever have a mechanical failure when it comes to the expandables, on these you also have that fixed blade component to make sure that you'll still penetrate the animal. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that expandable broadheads are not legal in all states. So make sure you check your state regulations before you choose an expandable broadhead. Now, I really hope that this gave you a solid overview of your different broadhead options. Head into your local sportsman's warehouse to choose the broadhead that best fits your needs.